Honk, 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 honk. What do you think, Elvira? How's your head? My tits are about to pop. God! Hi guys, it's Pino Palmer, and look! I'm Elvira, mistress of the dark. If you guys are new here to my channel, hi, I am Pinup Palmer, and I like everything pink and spooky, and today, of course, we are doing something very, very spooky. Vamp of camp, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. So I listened to all your comments, and I decided, f*** it, I'm gonna do Elvira, because I've been wanting to do Elvira for a very long time, and I did it, like, years ago, and I just haven't done it since, and so this is my new attempt at it, and I kind of like it. I like it a lot. And I'm really excited to show you guys how I turn myself into Elvira, Mistress of the Dog. Who no. thought of Elvira-ish? She looked like Elvira. This one was really fun and really, really difficult to do. I had to do the eye makeup like four times. I was filming, filming out of my brains. Gee, I think I can handle it. <laughs> so you want to learn how to turn into Elvira for Halloween or for fun or, or your boyfriend? <laughs> What time? Sexy time. Well, I can help you. I'll give you also a breakdown sheet, just like I did Marilyn, of all the colors that you're going to need if you don't even have the exact same palettes that I do. Just here is the color palette you're going to need. Here's to my big opening. And I also found like this really cool Elvira kind of like breakdown makeup thing. I don't know who did it, but I found it. I thought it was really, really cool and really helpful. Let's find out what you're gonna need to turn into Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Mwah. Okay guys, here is the color palette for Elvira. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And I also included this really cool makeup palette that I found online. You can go ahead and take a screenshot of this too, because this really helped me. Okay, so now that you just put foundation all over your face, the foundation I used was Infallible by L'Oreal Paris. Um, it's in 395. I wanted something really pale because Elvira is a pasty bitch. <laughs> I know what you mean. I think the first thing that we're gonna do, as I'm kind of looking at Elvira, I think I wanna just build the foundation of the face first. And I do notice in a couple of these books here in pictures that she does contour heavily right here on her chin area and down below her cheekbones. And we're gonna work on the nose. Sound good? Allow me. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take a dark contour concealer. This is by Revolution Conceal Define. Um, I'm just going to put it, as you see on Elvira, I'll put a picture over here. Elvira has a pretty good jaw line that goes about here. She likes to cut that jaw, so we're going to cut it too. Almost like you're drawing a douchebag goatee. Hot, right? Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> You're taking this contour just underneath your cheekbone to give yourself some definition and take your beauty blender and just blend it on into your liking. And go ahead and take that same contour stick and put it underneath your jawline and chin and just to give yourself some definition so you don't have a third chin. That my double chin doesn't go triple. Next up, the nose. But I noticed, I'm gonna put Elvira's nose here. Her and I have pretty prominent noses on her face, as you can see. It sticks out, we got a pretty good nose. And nose, 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 ears, eyes, and go. If you notice, her nostrils are a little bit bigger than mine. And what I mean by that is, you see how mine kind of just stop here? Well, hers kind of like continues up here. So we're gonna create that false illusion with a nostril, right? Whoa. We're gonna take the Juvia's palette here, and I like uh, that's in the color Nimbian 3 Coral. Let's, let's go look at some coral. And uh, I'm gonna take like a kind of angled brush like so, and I see this kind of gray contouring color here. It's like a gray brown. And then I see a little bit of a brown guy above it too, and a little bit of a gray guy up here. All the colors. Hit those three. And what are we gonna do is kind of create a bigger nose nostril nose that is i like taking where my nostril kind of ends and lifting it up for this we are just extending the nostril so i just go where my natural nostril ends and just extend from there on both ends even put it inside the nose to make it really darker and then really highlight it. it's like you are you are getting in there and shove it in your mouth we're not digging for gold i can't promise you ain't gonna find anything on your brush but yeah literally get it in that pocket 
For this, you can also use a dark brown or black eyeshadow for your nostrils. Don't be afraid to get it in there. Okay, so now we kind of have a larger nostril that I wanted to create. I know what you're up to. For this, I'm just taking my normal gray-brown contouring color and going down the sides of my nose just to thin it out a bit. I'm also going around my outer nostrils just to kind of make them a little bit more thinner or pointier. When you get it to your liking, go ahead and take your beauty blender and blend it on out. I could do your makeup myself. Makeup is pointless. That's all I'm gonna touch for now. I'm gonna go back to the nose a little bit later when I highlight it, but I just kinda wanted to see it on my face a little bit so I can kinda give myself an idea of where she's going. What's next? So what I wanna do next is Elvira's iconic eyes. As we know, Elvira was from the 80s. The 80s. So this is a very punk 80s look. The eyeshadow is so glam rock. The problem is you're in all that like early 80s glam rock femme shit. We have two different colors here. I'm gonna bring Elvira's eyes up here. And she actually takes her eyeshadow all the way from her lid, all the way past her eyebrows onto her forehead. Now the bangs really do cover her forehead, so we never really get to see it, but it is brought up all the way there. So this may look a little bit crazy. I'm not crazy! But what you're gonna need is a packer brush kind of like a flat brush that's kind of like fluffy. And then we're gonna go into the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and we're gonna do the color Brain Freeze for the middle blue part. And for the purple, I'm actually gonna go into Mini Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star. Come Mini Me! And the color Four Play over here, the magenta color. For this blue shade, you're gonna wanna keep it in the center of your eye and bring it all the way up past your eyebrow onto your forehead. Do not be afraid to go a little heavy handed on this. It's Elvira, it's campy, it's ridiculous. Go in on it. What other clown? For this next shade, we're gonna take that purpley pink color and apply it on the inner side of your eye and the outer side of your eye and do the same thing like you did with the blue. You're gonna take it all the way up past your eyebrow and onto your forehead. But for the outer eye, wing it out just a little bit to give yourself more of a vampy look and just blend it out. Completely natural, something fresh maybe on your first date. And what I am doing now is just blending all the colors kind of together, but still keeping that streamlined look and I'm blending it up and out, blend up and out, even though I'm starting to look like the clown from Spawn. That's okay. I hope I didn't stain my underwear. This is a look. Yeah, I'm good. definitely going for more of the 80s Elvira. A little bit much. And it's kind of wild to look at, but very 80s. I feel like Twisted Sister. Here is what's coming up next. And this is the scariest part of Elvira to me. Oh, great. Does somebody fart in here? Her eyeliner shape. Now let's bring up Elvira's eyes, shall we? Here. Well, let's just start off with a wing. Let's just start off with one wing and then we're gonna build on top of that because there's a lot going on, okay? For the first attempt at the eyeliner, I'm just going to do a normal winged eyeliner. And don't be afraid to go a little thick on the eyeliner because Elvira's black eyeliner is actually really thick. And in hindsight, I actually would have done it a little bit thicker than I did, but whatever, just start with a normal winged eyeliner. That thick. And that is my first wing that I'm going to do. Elvira creates a false lash, like a really spiky lash on her. So you have this wing, and then we're going to do another wing that's closer in, then another one, then another one. And then another, and another, and another. She had about four different spiky wings to create like this cartoony eyelash on her. So with this, I think this other wing is going to be about like right here. So with the second step of the eyeliner, act like you are doing a normal wing, but just closer in on your eye. And you're gonna continue that method at least three more times. There are four wings, one, two, three, and they should actually get smaller as they get closer to the corner of your eye. Please disregard my face during this moment. I am concentrating. Ghost face killer to the stage, please. Here, I just started like a normal cat eye, and then I just kept making a wing and a wing. So I'm gonna take this and do the other side, okay? I guess that means you're tired of me. Oh, <gasps> okay. So that's it for the top eyeliner for me. This is just like the lash effect. These clearly don't look alike, but we're praying that the bangs will do the job. Anyway. She has a weird dark purple crease to create like a fake crease above everything else. So it's probably gonna go in the crease. So I'm gonna do the mini jawbreaker palette. I'm gonna have a little small brush. I'm gonna hit this dark purple here in the middle and it's called purple punch. 
and I'm gonna punch into it. I'm gonna... And we're gonna create a crease. For this, take a very thin brush and apply the crease around. You actually might want to put your crease a little bit higher than normal because of the fake eyelashes that you drew. And you're gonna take that crease all the way in. Down to where like your eye meets, just kind of there. Now you're gonna take that color and just wing it out on the sides. It doesn't connect to really anything, just kind of wing it out. So once you're done with this crease, you're just gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then we're gonna work on the lower half of the eye. I'll see you then. Sorry, left my magnifying glass at home. Now we're gonna do the bottom half of her eye, which is just as important as the depth. I have two different kinds of eyeliners here. This one is from Italia. That's an Italian word. Italia 104 white, which is a skinnier pencil, and the other one is a NYX jumbo white. Jumbo jumbo. And then I'm gonna to to take my <sighs> black eyeliners again. I'm not sure if I should do the black or white first. I... Black is white and white is black. I feel like I should do white first. That's just my intuition. So I'm gonna take this white. So you're gonna take a bright white eyeliner and you're gonna go in your waterline and out of your waterline like a little V in the corner of your eye. Don't be afraid to drag it down past your waterline in the corner of your eye. Now for the black eyeliner. We're just gonna start like that. We're gonna take this and we're gonna pull it down and create kind of a V angle here. I'll show a picture of Elvira right here. So for this, you're gonna extend your top eyeliner down past your tear duct and create a little triangle connecting to the center of your eye. And try to keep this black eyeliner as thin as possible. Do not go thick or else it'll ruin the whole illusion. I'm so confused. <laughs> and try not to blend it with your white eyeliner. Basically, you are taking this black eyeliner and tracing around the white eyeliner that you just did. And connect the black eyeliner all the way to the end of your eye. And that's kind of Elvira's eye. Okay, we're gonna do the same on this side. Is it though? Now that you're done with your eyeliner, just make sure that you go over it and you keep that really white in the corner of it and clean anything up that you see. It's okay, my appearance is kind of a shock to everybody. Okay, now you're gonna go back into this palette and this pink color that you used here, you're gonna put it a, a little bit on the bottom of the eye. So we're gonna go back into foreplay. Enough foreplay. Blend it out just a bit, keep it really tight and add a little bit of that kind of purpley pink back into that bottom. Okay, Elvira's eyebrows, uh, there's really nothing defined about them. Now, what am I gonna do with you? And I also noticed too, she still has her red eyebrows underneath because she is a redhead like me. Ginger! Ginger! Yeah, she still kind of has them red. So I'm just gonna do kind of my normal eyebrows. They're nothing too thick, they're not too thin. They really aren't the focus of the face because the bangs really do kind of cover that point of it. Like I said, when it comes to eyebrows, I'm not doing anything crazy. They're really not defined on Elvira. So just do your normal eyebrows. If you wanna have fun with it, you can add a little bit red in there to kind of keep it like Elvira's natural eyebrow color. So I'm gonna go back in with like a little shade of white by my nose, and I'm just gonna kind of slender it, but I'm also gonna kind of focus on this tip here. That's what she said. <laughs> Cause Elvira's got quite an interesting tip of the nose and this piece kind of hangs down a little bit. So with white, I'm kind of like accentuating it. So now I'm taking that white shadow and putting it down the sides of my nose and around the edges of my upper nostril. And I am elongating the tip of my nose to give it more of a beak feel. Finally, I'm just going in with Fit Me Powder in the lightest color and I'm just kind of hitting underneath the eye and anywhere that I feel is a little too shiny for my taste. So shiny. And then now we're gonna go in with her crazy, crazy, crazy 80s fuchsia contouring here. And I'm gonna take the Daphna Beauty blush and she has this magenta shade and I'm just gonna hit it with an angled brush from Morphe. And we're gonna go right here. So you're gonna hit right underneath your cheekbones and give yourself a nice lift. Do not be afraid to go hard on this. Elvira put so much blush on the side of her face. This was the 80s, blush was all the rage. So go in on it. And if you want a little bit more definition, go ahead and take a more dark purpley color and put it on the edges closer to your ears. 
So when it came to Elvira's lips, uh, I do notice a couple different colors every now and then, but usually she went for a classic kind of red and it was on the darker side of the red. So what better red than Daphne Beauty's, this dark red, this deep red, I think is what it's called. Who cares? So I'm gonna take my Daphne Beauty brush here, lip liner brush. And then when it came to her lips, Elvira really doesn't have a very prominent or plump top lip. It's kind of small. She did have a cupid's bow, so we weren't rounding it out like a fish or trout mouth. What's that perfume you're wearing, catch of the day? And let's just do kind of like an X. For the lips, you're gonna wanna keep it small, and I like drawing an X in the middle because we wanna keep that Cupid's bow still present. And I'm actually not gonna take my lip lighter outside of my lips, I'm gonna keep it inside, and I'm actually gonna make it very thin on the outer corners of my mouth. And now go ahead and fill it in. And because I'm a dumbass and I am completely covering me doing the bottom lip. What an idiot, <laughs> what an idiot, what a total idiot. What I am doing is I'm just drawing my bottom lip. I'm not really overlining it. I'm not underlining it. I'm keeping it pretty normal. So there's nothing crazy that I'm doing here. It just sucks that I was covering it up. Sorry. Now that we are kind of done with the lips, it's time to finish the eyes and then let's give her a beauty mark on her eye. Almost done. Did not know while applying my mascara, I look like Madame Medusa, but that's okay. Do you know what would make Auntie Medusa very happy? After I got all the mascara done, let's put on some eyelashes, yeah? So I got these really cool eyelashes from Kiss. They were the Lash Strip by Kiss. I can't read a word of this stuff. Okay, we're gonna cut the eyelashes, just a little bit over here, on the longest part of the corners. <laughs> While the eyelashes are drying, go ahead and take a bobby pin, and you know what I'm doing. What is she doing? Just like Marilyn, you get that eyelash glue, you get it right on the tip of that. So I am taking that lash duo and dotting it on the corner of my eye to create a new mole underneath her right eye. Now that the eyelashes are tacky, go ahead and stick them on the outer corner of your eyes and for an extra effect, you can lift them up above your eyelash line. So here is the wig that I am using. It is some cheap. Cheap, or you call it cheap. Spirit Halloween, I don't know. It's the Elvira brand one. And you know what's really funny about this too is I know the girl on this. This is Vanessa Vamp. If you guys don't follow her, I'll put her here. Uh, she's kind of like a horror queen herself, like a playmate, I think, too, for like cosplay and everything. Kind of spooky, and she has her own like children's show. And there's nothing wrong with G-rated movies as long as there's lots of sex and violence. Fun fact about Vanessa Vamp and I, Elvira did a pinup girl dress line, and Vanessa and I got to model for it. So here's Vanessa modeling for Elvira's dresses at Pinup Girl, and then here's me over here posing for Elvira's line as well. Uh, they gave me like magenta hair from Rocky Horror. If you guys want to see me do that makeup, I can definitely do that for you. Magenta. Ghoul girls, support your fellow ghoul girls. But yeah, this is Vanessa Vamp. Um, so we're gonna be trying this wig, so let's open her up. Let's open her up. Yourself a man, huh? Ooh. Here she is. What is it? I think she needs a little zhuzhing, so we'll try her on and see what we could do. Ah! Yikes. Um. Here is my Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, final look. Ah! So here it is, my final Elvira look. I hope you guys really like it, but please, no questions on how I got my boobs like that. Not even God knows. It'll be my little secret. Or should I say, big secret. So this is it for my Elvira, Mistress of the Dark makeup. I hope you guys really liked it. I mean, I get paid for watching this garbage, but what's your excuse? If you guys want to see me do anybody else, please put it down below in the comments section. I would like to hear your ideas. If I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. I'm Pitta Palmer, I keep it pink and spooky, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you next time, ghouls. How does she say it? Uh, oh. Unpleasant dreams.